Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product video. And this time we're looking at the Kurosaki Megumi Hammered Gyoto 240mm knife. This line of knives has a core steel of VG10 stainless. And the heat treat rating is 61 to 63 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction of these is a extremely well executed stainless cladding, multi-layered stainless cladding over the top of that core steel. And it's got a kind of a random hammered tsuchimi finish over the top of that and then as the grind starts on the knife you can see the layers of damascus what they call suminagashi finish showing up and there's your core steel on the edge this is a really sharp looking blade with a lot of character it's a little hard to show it's got a little bit of polish to it but there's your layers so it's really a cool as opposed to the anru hammer which has more of a pattern hammer this has more of a random hammered style finish to it but still a ton of character uh, the weight on this is kind of right in the middle for just kind of a middle lightweight, 240, um, 6.9 ounces, 196 grams. And the blade length is 245 millimeter, a little oversized. These will vary a little bit from knife to knife. Overall length, 15.8 millimeters. The spine width right here coming out of the handle right above the chin area is about 3.4. Tapers down a little bit off of that and then holds that a fair amount till you get the grind right here and down towards the tip where the tip thins out the height on this is 51.4 it's generous uh, again this will vary a little bit blade to blade but this is a nice generous sized blade very similar in dimensions to the anru hammered uh blue number two uh their style as well uh, the let's see the handle is a nicely done i really like the handles they are octagonal um Cherry wood with the buffalo horn ferrule. Real nice fit and finish on these. Uh, pretty light, but uh, really well done. They're real nice looking handles. Warm kind of feel to them and look. Three inch circumference right here. Pretty standard size. You've got the, this uh, Kurosaki is one of the Masakage blacksmiths. And he's got that typical Masakage style curved neck into the emoto or choil area. Or excuse me, neck area. And there's the choil back here, excuse me. And you've got a nicely finished spine and... Real nicely finished neck um, emoto choil area, so real great out of the box. Out of the box edge, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's not quite as good as the Masakage edges I've had, um, so I did sharpen these up just a little bit. And um, Actually, let me take that back. I think on these I just did some stropping, and they really didn't need much beyond a stropping. So they did uh, really sharpen up great, though. When I, I'm trying to remember. I think I did sharpen these a little bit. If I get back to it, sorry about that. Um, the um, balance point on these, sorry for waffling, I use a lot of different knives, but I did think I did sharpen these up, and they sharpened up great. The uh, balance point's right there, a little bit beyond a pinch grip, but it is a pretty big 240 blade. And the profile on these is really similar to the 210. They've got real consistent blacksmithing and craftsmanship, just like the Anru line. Different group of people, but at least the blacksmiths are. But just a lot of consistency, real high quality blacksmithing on these and craftsmanship. And let's look at this on the board. This knife is pretty much a big brother to the 210 in almost every way. The blade's a little bit thicker. It doesn't quite go through things at the tip as good as the 210, but it just it kind of mimics the 210, just a bigger version of it and a little more blade heft. Uh, so these are almost like I call it identical twins born a few years apart. Uh, they're very similar blades, just one's bigger than the other. Again, a little better performance on the 210, a little bit more heft on the 240. Good gentle curve, a little bit of back bevel there on the heel area. You can get pretty high in ingredients. I'm starting to hit the tip about right there. It's a pleasure to use this on the board. Performance on these blades is just outstanding, as is the 210. The tip, again, doesn't go through things quite as well, but it goes through things very well. The onroos go through things a little bit better on the hammered, but these have a better middle section, I think, as far as the grind goes. And they really plow through ingredients real great on this part of the blade. And uh, don't wedge at all on things like big heads of cabbage and stuff. So these are just superb all-around performers on all kinds of ingredients. I don't think you can ask for much more in terms of just great all-around performance in the kitchen. Uh, got a nice heft to these. They're just uh, superb and a pleasure uh, to use. So great fit and finish on them. I didn't use it a ton, but the edges have really stayed sharp for me. So I think they've done a pretty good job on their VG10. And so there you have the Kirosaki Megumi Hammered Gyoto 240 millimeter.